About four weeks ago, my family went to Finland to visit my wife's family, and they stayed in a small apartment, six of them, and they contracted corona. They all passed it around from one to the other and reported back to me the various symptoms. Some had fever, some had sore throat, some had aches, some had, you know, were in bed all day. And so I was sort of fearful when they were coming home, even though I feel very much uh, immune to this or like I have a strong immunity to this because of my not only supplements and MN, but also my health routine in general. But the fact that all six of them got it gave me some concerns, but they came back on a Saturday and lo and behold, and coughing, a couple of them, uh, only one had a positive test, the other two were coughing. And then on Sunday, I started to feel a bit of a tingle, a little bit under the weather. I went ahead and played tennis a couple sets. Uh, I did fine, I played well, but I did feel like I was struggling in the heat more than usual. And so it was remarkable that it could start to hit me that quickly. Uh, on Monday, I started to feel a little bit more, almost a tingle, a little discomfort, a little unsettling feeling, and went for a couple long walks just to try to battle that off, raised my NMN up to two grams, increased my resveratrol quercetin that I take on alternate days, and just sort of like dug in and uh, prepared for battle because it felt like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to fight something off. But still feeling pretty optimistic based on the last year that I was gonna be able to fight this off. Well, Tuesday, it became clear that I was sick and uh, not a severe thing, uh, but certainly feeling like I had something. So I rested most of the day, still got some things done. And then on Wednesday, it was a little worse. I had some chills, rested a lot, continued my NMN two grams, continued my routine. Thursday, I finally got my hands on a test, did the test, and it was positive. So ironically, Thursday, I wasn't as sick as the last two days and was already starting that upswing back. Now today, I'm making this video on a Friday, probably gonna post it tomorrow on Saturday, and I'll let you know if I have any other recurrences, but I'm feeling about 90% back. So there was about a three-day case of this and uh, confirm corona through the test. So unfortunately, NMN did not protect me uh, 100% from getting uh, corona or COVID, whatever you wanna call it. Now, what I will say is that while I did have some chills on one day and a slight stuffy nose, it's hard to even call a runny nose on only on Wednesday, uh, what's also interesting to me is the symptoms that other people in my family had that I didn't experience. Uh, I had no cough. Two of them are still coughing. I had no sore throat. I had no fever. I had no aches and pains. I had no runny nose. Now, commonly when I get sick, I typically have like two to three days of what I call faucet nose, where I just can't shut it down. No matter what pills I take, no matter what nasal sprays I use, I can't shut it down. And this time I didn't have any of it. Um, I, my energy was zapped a bit, I slept a lot, but at the same time, every time I would take NMN and do my routine during the day, everything was kind of flipped backwards. What I mean by that is usually in the mornings, that's when you feel best. You get up, and you, you start to get going, and then it starts to deteriorate through the day, and then the evenings are the worst. But for me, I felt worse in the mornings, started my routine, started taking NMN, could feel almost a tingling sensation as if there's a battle going on. Like I'm feeling that energy at the same time I'm feeling kind of sick. And it was weird to feel both at the same time, but it did give me hope that it wasn't gonna last that long. And here I am Friday, like I said, about 90% back. I think you can see that I'm a little bit under the weather, but I could, I could literally walk out and go play tennis right now. At least I feel that way. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna take five days or t a week off just to protect my heart from any potential damage. But I do feel uh, really good and almost normal again on Friday. So it wasn't lingering so far. Uh, and I didn't get a lot of these symptoms or really any of these symptoms that various members of my family had either all of or some of these uh, symptoms, more severe symptoms. Uh, I also was better in the evenings. So I was still able to get my work done every day uh, as far as my audio mastering work and just communicating with people online in the evenings. And I felt pretty good, watched some tennis online. So the mornings were rougher, the evenings were better. That seemed kind of backwards. 
Uh, my conclusions from this are, essentially, I wouldn't have wanted to go through this without NMN. Um, it didn't protect me 100%, unfortunately. I really felt like during it that it was helping me fight this off. So there's a couple things I would tell you guys to keep in mind. Um, don't think you're invincible, although it's a nice feeling. You know, and I do get that from NMN, like I can go run 10 miles if I want to, or, you know, go play five sets of tennis. And I do sometimes, I would say I got about as sick as an 18 year old gets from this, you know, pretty mild symptoms over it pretty quickly and no lingering effects. And like I said, one of my kids uh, is 11 and is still coughing a week later after he had it over a week later. Don't feel invincible. You can get it no matter what you're doing, no matter what you do to prevent it. However, don't be afraid of it either. You're gonna get through it. If you're taking NMN, I personally believe from my own experience, you're gonna get through it faster uh, and without lingering effects. Um, that's been my experience so far, and uh, I feel pretty positive as I did before, even though it's kind of a punch to the gut, even getting sick at all. I may even be a bigger believer in NMN than I was before, because if this thing is so contagious, that I had symptoms within a couple days of being exposed, and it brought me down at my healthiest point in my life, um, it's a pretty dangerous thing. You know, it can get you no matter what. So the more you can defend yourself from it, the better off you're gonna be. Um, I would try it if you feel the effects coming, if you're afraid of getting COVID, if you're exposed to it, you know, might as well give it a shot. I don't know what the age break off is. I don't know if you should take it if you're under 30. My guess is probably not, although I know people that do and they're getting good results from it. I think it's still, at the, for the time being, a risk reward sort of thing that you have to weigh. And the older you are, the more dragged down you're feeling, uh, the more it's gonna help you. Uh, but COVID, I wasn't able to fight it off completely. However, I did eventually fight it off pretty quickly. Uh, I would not want to go through what I just went through without the NMN, without the go-to. Uh, maybe there is a placebo impact of it, just the positive mentality of knowing I'm doing something to combat this uh, did give me a lot of, uh, it gave me kind of a wind at my back so that I was able to fight this whether you want to say it's the NMN or it's just the mental state I was in, either way, the end result was the same. Uh, I felt confident. I didn't feel like it was going to send me to the hospital or, you know, drag on or become long COVID. I still don't feel that. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm being honest with you guys about this. If anything changes, I'll come back and report that to you because I think, you know, my own sharing my experiences with you uh, comes with the good and the bad. And I can't just tell you all the good and not share some, some of the bad stories that may come up from time to time. So thanks for watching and let's do this again soon. Just not the COVID part.